My name is Major Mark Johnson, and I am the Senior Croc Officer for the Grand Rapids Croc Center of the Salvation Army. The Croc Center uh, is an initiative of the Salvation Army that has uh, come about as the result of a major donation by Joan Croc, um, with some very specific requirements to build state-of-the-art facilities in underserved areas uh, across the nation. The Croc Center is a state-of-the-art facility uh, that is located on the southeast side of Grand Rapids that is here to meet the needs of the community uh, physically, spiritually, and emotionally. My name is Stephanie Denton. I am the Marketing, PR, and Membership Director for the Salvation Army Croc Center. The Salvation Army Croc Center is here to enrich lives and celebrate community right here in the southeast side of Grand Rapids. Um, we've been given a wonderful gift um, to be able to have this amazing center here um, to kind of give back to our community, to have our community come in and together um, work together to just do some amazing things here. Um, we have a full fitness facility as well as congregational life um, and so much more. We have something for everyone. Um, we have an amazing uh, aquatic center, gymnasium, uh, suspended uh, track, as well as a fitness facility with cardiovascular machines, weight rooms, and outdoor features. So beautiful playgrounds, baseball diamonds, a fishing pond in the summer, uh, soccer fields, just so much. Yeah. There were a lot of studies that were done prior to being accepted and granted the project. Um, and here on the south side of Grand Rapids, there uh, was an underserved area that just didn't have access to uh, a state-of-the-art physical facility that would enable people to uh, better their lives physically, spiritually, and relationally. We want people just to experience what has been built here. We, we feel like this is kind of our gift to the community. Um, so we're here to be used by the, the community. We want people to come, get to know us, uh, become members. We're also uh, looking for community volunteers to help us with uh, various programs. Um, for example, uh, we have an after-school literacy program where we're looking for volunteers to come in and all they need to do is to sit with a young child and allow that child to read to them out loud. We are so blessed to have such an amazing community that's already come out and um, you know become members of the organization. I hope the community continues to kind of see the benefits of being a member here. Um, a lot of times people think of uh, fitness activity as um, you know a, a kind of a added um, expense but here we really think the value is is so much more and what you can get back in return from the, the spiritual the relational um, and the physical activity here is is amazing and we also have an angel club membership for people who um, maybe have a little bit more means to be able to give back um, we try to set our membership pricing um, at very uh, reasonable levels, but we also know that not everyone can afford those. Um, so we do have an angel club and some people have already participated and we'd love for people to kind of help sponsor a member um, is kind of what our angel club does. And uh, we'll keep adding to that program and, and growing that so more and more people can enjoy the wonderful facility. Our memberships are growing and people are getting excited about coming and, and it's financially accessible. We do have a scholarship program that's available that people can apply for because Joan Crock didn't want, she wanted this state of the art facility to be available and she didn't want finances to be a barrier. So we're working on keeping that down to a level that people can, can afford. Um, I think the best way to get to know us is to come and experience us. We're in your community, we're, we're close, we're accessible on bus lines. Uh, a lot of people would ride their bike here and, and be able to walk. So just take a moment to come in and, and see what we have to offer. Uh, I think that would be a great way to get to know each other. Um, also, we want to thank, of course, uh, Joan Croc for remembering us in this way and enabling us to, to have this tremendous gift. And I think I'd want to thank our members uh, who have come and, and started to participate with us and we hope that they're beginning to feel like they're a part of uh, who we are. And it's not the place that they go, but uh, it's, it's some, somewhere where they belong and uh, we can become a, a new family for them. And our congregational life uh, is, is blossoming and uh, that's an important foundational aspect of who we are as the Salvation Army. So uh, we want to make an impact in people's lives, not just physically, but spiritually and in their relationships with each other to build them up.